What's up friend, Hector here from StrongestTech.com with this week's Technique of the Week. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a little nuance, I guess. Uh, something I've been playing around with in the rack position. So right now me and about 89 other people are going through a beta test uh, for a jerk and front squat uh, program, which I'll give you a little sneak peek of it tomorrow. But um, this is a little subtle detail, something I've been messing around with um, from, the, from the rack to give me a much more crisp, if that's a word, if you will, a much more crisp um, overhead position when doing the jerk, okay? So the rack for a strict press and the rack for doing like a push press or a jerk are a little different. So after you clean up a pair of bells or one bell and you're going to do a strict military press, you kind of want to have the bell kind of out to the side. That way you can start to get your lats involved to help you to have a really good press, okay? And you're going to have a little bit of a slight like turn out a little bit and then straight overhead, okay? So after you clean the bells, let's say you're going to do like a strict military press, you kind of want the bell out here. Everything still stays connected to your, to your torso and then from here you're going to press because you want to get the lats involved and press overhead, okay? So that rack is going to be a little different from let's say a jerk or a push press. When we do the jerk or the push press, you actually kind of want your hands, you want your forearms as vertical as possible, and you're going to kind of let them rest on the rib cage, kind of here, like in, in the front, like this. Okay, so I'll turn to the side. So when you drive for the push press or the jerk, okay, it's a little bit of a quarter of a squat, and then as you drive, you want to use your ribs and your chest to kind of launch your arms up, okay? So if you're out here to the side, like a strict press, you're gonna lose some of that energy that's gonna come up through the torso, okay? So instead of having the arms out here to the side for a strict press, you kinda want them here in the front like this. So the rack's gonna be a little tighter, okay? And I'm gonna show you a little thing I've been doing um, with my grip and with the kettlebells to give me a straighter overhead position. So. The fastest way from A to B is in a straight line, right? So we don't want to be out here for the, for the jerk and kind of come out this way and then hit the lockout once we catch the bells. Instead, we want our arms kind of in front here, right on the ribs, the torso. That way when you drive, okay, and you drive with your chest, you're gonna slightly extend back, okay? As soon as you drive, you're gonna slightly extend back and your, your torso is gonna to kinda of extend up. You're not peeling open, okay? Because you wanna stay centered here, but you're gonna slightly drive up here, not peeling open, okay? So once you drive, okay, you'll come up into triple extension. Boom, hands are here. Boom, and then a straight lockout overhead. So if you look at me from the front, okay, arms are gonna be in the front like so. Inhale down, drive up into triple extension, and then you want your arms to go straight up, and then from there, you turn and lock out here, okay? So I'm gonna show you something that I've kind of been playing around with, and when I started to do this, I noticed that from the rack to overhead when I caught when I would catch the bells was a little faster and it was just it was really crisp it was real crisp and sharp and it was fast okay it's the only way I can explain it is is it was faster okay so I'll show you a like kind of how I used to do it and then kind of what I've been playing with lately so uh, clean up a pair of bells okay so before I was kind of out here a little bit, almost like in a military press, kind of like in the middle, okay? Then I would do my normal jerk, okay, and come up. Now what I'm doing is I have my arms in tighter to my ribs, and what I'm doing different with my grip is I'm turning my palms kind of towards you a little bit here versus having my palms face each other. I would slightly turn my palms facing you. Okay, have my false grip, and then it was a quicker 
um, way to travel overhead. So slightly turn the palms towards you. Forearms are on my rib cage. And then it's a quick overhead. One more time. I'm feeling a little beat up today. <laughs> like I said, we're in the middle of a uh, push press, not push press. We're in the middle of a beta test for a jerk and it's got a squat in there which makes it really sinister uh, program. So I'm feeling a little beat up today. Plus I just rolled for like the last two and a half hours. So to recap all of this is tightening that rack position a little bit. Instead of being out here for a traditional military press where you want to get, you do want to use that so you can get your lats. When we're doing the push press, we're using more of the legs, right? So we don't, we're not going to use so much of the lat anymore. Instead, you'll bring your arms onto your torso. Forearms are vertical, okay? And then what I've been doing, what we're focusing on today is just slightly turning the palms towards you. What that's going to do is, as I drive, that's going to allow my arms to go straight up, okay, straight up, and then from there, it's a shorter, like, rotation to locking out instead of turning. It's just shortening that rotation and making it a straight overhead position, okay? So always remember to go into triple extension. As soon as you drive, come up onto your toes. Okay, here, inhale, sharp inhale, quarter of a squat, and then boom, drive through the hips. Boom, 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 and then drop under, okay? So I'll do that a couple more times, and then we'll wrap up. And then tomorrow, you'll get a sneak peek of the work for the workout of the week. I'm gonna let you check out one of the programs we're beta testing right now. So uh, I'll do a couple more jerks that we can see and then we'll call it a day. Okay, arms are on my torso, hands are slightly facing you. That's like more than two, but they're feeling pretty good and pretty quick. So you can see how, how fast those were, right? So that's pretty much what I want to share with you today. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes. It's gonna, it may feel a little awkward. Here's one thing you may experience. One thing you may experience is it's going to feel uncomfortable because now you're kind of compressing like the diaphragm because now the weight, instead of the weight resting out here and you can breathe, okay? Now your arms are gonna be on top of like your stomach. So that's gonna feel like, like you can't breathe, but that actually helps because when you inhale, that diaphragm expands and as soon as you inhale down, it like it, it power it starts to power up boom the arms to go overhead so it's gonna feel a little weird and uncomfortable when you have the arms resting right at that lower part of the rib cage it's gonna feel a lot of pressure on your stomach and it may feel like it's kind of hard to breathe it takes some time getting used to but you're gonna notice how much faster your jerk is so Give that a try. Let me know how it goes. If you're enjoying the videos, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I think I've put a couple of videos either somewhere around here. Um, so you can check out our other Technique of the Week videos. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Hector with StrongestTech.com with this week's Technique of the Week.